Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So, beta, in the last class, we had gone ahead and we had talked about the agricultural sector in India, right? Today, I want to go ahead and I want to continue my discussion. And I want to talk about the industrial sector of India. All this is with respect to our uh, period which we had in mind, which was the period of independence. So when India just got independence, how was the industrial sector? We will go ahead and we will discuss that in today's class. Clear, Wabita? Okay. So please write down. So these are what we had done in the last class. We talked about the causes of stagnancy. We talked about the agricultural sector. We talked about this, right? So today I want to go ahead and I want to start with the state of Indian industry and its structure. Okay, beta. So today we want to go ahead and understand why the Indian industry was also very backward. Let me first explain you, then I will write it down. Huh? Now, see, when I talk about India, India had one of the best resources of, uh, you know, as compared to the world. Now, when I say the best resources, but what do I mean? I mean, it had an excellent iron ore. It had manganese deposit. It had gold, bauxite, iron, gypsum, mica. But the jitne bhi resources you can imagine, whatever resources are required for us to go ahead and run a good industry, all those resources were present in India. Chikaji. But even though these resources were present in India, India's industry sector was not doing well. Sab kuch tha, steel tha, iron tha, sare raw materials the, chromium, gold, bauxite, uh, manganese, everything. All the resources were there. Still the industrial sector was not performing well, right? One main thing that we saw and one main, uh, you know, thing that, that uh, happened in India was that during the British era, only the raw material was exported. Sif raw material bhaar bheja jata tha and the final machineries were imported. So India was not made capable ever to produce its own final goods, final goods and service, final machinery to produce, karne ke liye, India was never encouraged. India was always encouraged that you go ahead and you import your raw material and you get the final goods. Right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is that there were a lot of restrictions that were imposed on what could be exported from India outside. And what could be imported into India? Har cheez pe bohat zada restrictions British ne imposed ki hui thi. Third thing. The third thing was that the traditional sector of India was also ruined. Jo bhi, what is our traditional sector, beta? The handicraft sector, the jute industry. So that handicraft sector, that jute industry, it was also completely ruined during the British era. Hmm. That's the third thing. Fourth thing. We saw that slowly the modern industries had started developing, but that was very slow progress. So modern industries are rahi thi, but wo bohat hi slow thi. So we saw that the iron and the steel industry, they started developing after 1907. And the, you know, and the sugar, cement, paper industry, but they came during 1930s. So these industries are rahi thi. Uh, the period tha, the initial industrial development in India that was confined to cotton and textile. Doi cheese grow kari thi, uh, cotton and jute textile. And slowly we started seeing that, okay, there was some growth during uh, the 1900s in iron and steel industry and in sugar, cement and paper industry. But all this was also very limited. Matab, it's not that it was growing at a very high rate. Now, very limited growth was there. So when we got independence, we saw that this industrial development, jo cotton or te jute textile industry, mein aai thi, it was still accounting for 30% of the workers employed, right? So we saw that 
when we go ahead and we see the entire manufacturing sector as a whole to agar main sirf manufacturing sector mein contribution dekhu har industry ka so cotton and jute textile industry it was contributing approximately 57% right and then it was followed by sugar engineering steel cement etc so we understand that the industrial revolution was taking place in india also but the speed at which it was taking place was very slow tha it was a pretty slow speed ha huh? that's the first aspect now also try and understand that even though the modern industry had started growing still what we saw in india is that so so imagine modern industry was growing traditional industry was going down but the rate of growth was slow and the rate of fall was high तो ज्यादा ट्रेडिशनल का जो ग्रोथ रेट जो गिरने का रेट था वो बहुत ज्यादा था मॉडर्न का उठने का रेट स्लो था सो इट वाज ग्रोइंग एट अ स्मॉल स्लो रेट इट वाज फॉलिंग एट अ हाई रेट सो अल्टीमेटली वी सॉ दैट द ग्रोथ इन मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्री कुड नॉट कॉम्पनसेट फॉर द फॉल इन द ट्रेडिशनल इंडस्ट्री ट्रेडिशनल बहुत ज्यादा फॉल कर रही थी मॉडर्न बहुत कम ग्रो कर रही थी सो इट कुड नॉट completely compensate the fall in the traditional industry ha huh, beta that's the next aspect and the next thing that happened is um, that we saw that only 2.3 jab when we got independence during um, that period till 1950s ha huh, 1951 mein jab humne finally we had the planning commission in place so what did we saw we saw that only 2.3% of the labor force it was employed in the modern industry baki sara labor force it was there in agricultural sector or the traditional industries etc so even though modern industry was growing still it was not generating too much employment only 2.3% of the labor force was employed in the modern industry so that's also an important figure okay beta so now i will stop here for now and i will start writing this aspect then i will explain you further तो पहले इतने पार्ट को लिख लेते हैं सो प्लीज राइट डाउन स्टार्ट राइटिंग विद मी सो राइट डाउन दैट अनदर नो लेट्स राइट बाय टॉकिंग द बैकवर्डनेस सो द इंडिया नो द इंडिया बैकवर्डनेस in the state of industry existed uh, existed despite its vast industrial resources so even though there were vast industrial resources as i told you na we had iron manganese uh, we had bauxite gypsum we had even atomic uh, you know uh, we had raw material for atomic industries also still even though we had a large large vast amount of these industrial resources still we saw that india was backward in the industrial sector india was not growing in its industrial sector so please write down we will talk a little about india's resources 